I met him 15 years ago. I, I was told there was nothing left. I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. There's a reason we're supposed to be afraid of this thing. Death has come to your little town, Sheriff. So is he real? Who? The Boogeyman. You don't believe in the Boogeyman? I believe in Michael Myers, a deranged serial killer. But the Boogeyman, no. Well, you should. years ago, the boogeyman came for us. If you track Michael's victims, that's a straight line to Michael's childhood home. Someone's in our house. You've come home. What are you gonna do when Michael comes back for you? Because he is coming. But this time, something feels different. He's more dangerous. My grandmother was right, and the boogeyman was real. Michael Myers is flesh and blood. But a mortal man could not have survived what he's lived through. The more he kills, the more he transcends. It is the essence of evil, the anger that divides us. It is the terror that grows stronger when we try to hide. You can't defeat it with brute force. What's the good man? You can't close your eyes and pretend he isn't there. As a matter of fact, it was. Because he is.